little jobs today is this gear selector. Now it's off a Z-Door tractor and um, what's happened is where this shaft is there it's been welded on the end and it's come off so what we have to do is look at, look at the witness marks in there to tell us how far away we are. Just a little just a little notch there you can just feel you can just feel it locking in there so that's our place that we're gonna we're gonna put him in the vise if we can without moving too much there's just an old drill vise we have that I do a bit of welding on and there's a gap there's a gap down in here and that looks to be about as thick as the ruler all the way around so we're going to call that okay so what we need to do now is just for safety's sake I'm going to um, put a couple of witness marks here and here in case things get out of whack a little bit so at least I got a chance of finding where I was before okay we found ourselves a we found ourselves a punch I might just put a little sharpen on that Okay, back in. So we'll put a tiny little witness mark on this piece here. And then we'll bring one exactly in line. There. So let's have a look how we've gone. Yep, you can just see that. One there, one there. Okay, so if we get lost, we know that that lines up. So what we need to do now, we'll see all the, all the weld on here, but in the centre there, that's a pretty dungry looking old piece of stuff, isn't it? So what we need to do now is grind this off, we'll clean up this hole, we'll sit this in where the witness marks are, just so we know we're in the right place. We need to take this roll pin out so the heat doesn't get into it and take this o-ring out. That there's just a little bit of black paint. So I'll sneak off for a minute and I'll tidy this up a little bit. Well there's the tools of the trade, the angle grinder. My main grinder on the bench, the capacitor's buggered up again and it doesn't want to start on its own so we've got the angle grinder going and so what we'll do, we'll Sit this little fellow in there once more. And line the witness marks up. And there's actually some sticking out, which I didn't think would happen. That might be why it, um, why it broke. There wasn't enough body of weld down in there. Like by the time they had a little dob of weld on the top of that, um, yeah, there wasn't an awful lot holding it, was there? So. Look, I'll, um, I'll just, I think I'll tidy this up, level it off a bit, get it down in there a bit so there's quite a body of weld when we hop into it and blow a few arcs around in there. Right, what we've done there, it's a bit, oh, you might be able to see it, is we've put a bit of a chamfer on here just so down inside here we can get a little bit more weld. So what we need to do is sit it up sit it up here somewhere like that. Where's my witness mark? Little witness mark is there. And did you know that's getting hot from all the grinding, bloody thing? Wouldn't have thought of that, would you? So if I sit that in there, I should be able to Lift this up in the vice a little bit. 
to get it square. And we should be able to maintain that position. What's our gap like? We just need to take that down a bit. I wasn't really planning on putting it down that much, but anyway. That's pretty good in there. Yeah. Can I show you that? I'll try and hold that a little bit better. It needs to come just up that way slightly. I'll nip him up a bit. These jaws are that worn, that should just support that little bit a bit better. That's good. All right, we'll clear a bit of junk out of the way. Then we'll try and blast a bit of a bit of weld in there if we can. Get him nice and hot, and um, yeah, try and get a nice a nice big bead right down in deep if we can. And it'll probably be stronger than it ever was out of the factory. I'm, oh, well, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Yeah. Just lovely. All right, well, stay tuned. Go. I've spent a bit more time straightening this up. I've got the MIG organised and. It's actually working, so we're all gassed up, ready to go. I've moved the camera back and zoomed, a little, zoomed it in a little bit. Um, look, just to try and keep it away from any sparks and that, so we'll have a bit of a blast and, yeah, just sort of see what we can come up to. Mm. Always try and make myself steady, so. Give that a bit of a tidy up and let him cool down and we'll have a bit of a look. Right, there's a there's a where I welded it. And I don't know if you noticed it or not before, but I sort of noticed it as I was three quarters of the way through the weld, but it was spattering a lot. And what did I do? Had a bit of a bozo moment, forgot to turn the gas on. So I'm just showing you this. So even though you can grind the weld back a bit and you think it doesn't look too bad. I'm just not sure what you can see. See these little air bubbles here? That's because the gas wasn't on. So anyway, we're going to have a big grind and we're going to do it again. Lucky I'm not charging by the air, eh? I've oh, bloody sacked myself shortly. Well, look. <laughs> I had a bit of a stuff up by not putting the gas on. So what I've done, I've drilled the centre out. So we got we got new shaft metal down here and we've got new lever metal there so we'll have another go it's one of those things <laughs> you sort of know it's happening too late hear that sound that's the gas working Okay, look away. I hope you weren't looking at that.
Well, they say you'll end up blinder than the welder's dog. That feels good. Yeah, it still looks straight, hasn't pulled or... No, look, that's looking okay. Look better if I got it in the frame, wouldn't it? There you go. <laughs> Alright, I'll go and cool this down so I can have a good look. Now there you go. Not an air bubble in there. It's a nice clean weld. I might still grind it up a little bit. Give myself a good talking to later probably. Well, won't be that good at talking to. But anyway, that's one job done. That'll help the people out. We had to send away for a shaft if we if we needed one and oh it would have took a while and then they weren't sure which one, so this was the easy fix. This will get them back going. So yeah, that's it. We'll put the new O-ring on there. And yep, that's one job done.